If you're wondering how to make money through Patreon with your art, then this video is exactly what you need. We will be covering five artists who are making money on Patreon, successful artists, and the business models that they are using to make their journey success. Okay, let's start off with Lachri Fine Art. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Anyway, obviously she is, as you may know, she has a YouTube channel, and so she is driving a lot of traffic from YouTube. Don't worry, throughout this video we will be covering some other artists who are using different business models where you don't need a pre-existing follower base and so that's going to be interesting as well now she is doing a really good job in leveraging her time so ideally you want your patreon to not eat more of your time as it grows and so you have to organize your perks in a way that when you scale you get more money coming in without spending more time that's going to be crucial now. for example slower painting and drawing videos now these videos already exist she has them she makes them available slower so it's easier to follow. Reference photos. Now this is very, very, very smart. Reference photos. If you want to buy them individually, you will have to pay quite a lot of money. And so buying reference photos in group is going to reduce the costs by a lot. This is going to be a very, very smart thing. Now obviously if you want to be an artist, you will eventually have to buy your own reference photos that are in line with your ideas and your visions and your things. But for beginner artists who don't need to do that, I mean, depending on how many you would use a year, this could, this could save you hundreds of euros. So this is real value. This is real value. And on top of this, when your Patreon grows and you have a perk like this, you will not spend more time while making more money. This is the type of system that you ideally want. Now, if you would compare this, for example, with postcards, if you would make handwritten postcard notes with some kind of small painting on, whatever, like four times a year, something like that, that's, or, or even every month, your art is doing that every month. Now, if your Patreon dance grows, your time grows with, I mean, you're gonna spend more time creating those perks, creating those benefits for your audience. And so effectively, you're not really building any type of business. You're not building any type of business. You're just exchanging your time for money, which is what you want to avoid by building your own business in the first place. So this doesn't make any sense. There are a lot of beginner artists when creating a Patreon that want to over deliver, over value without realizing these things and then making mistakes because eventually when your Patreon grows after a couple of months, you cannot really do it anymore. And so you have to start scratching out perks and, 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 and audiences, fans that already subscribed, already bought that type of tier, bought that type of uh, membership. So that's that's really, that's not the way they, that you want to go. And then here, also interesting Facebook group. So she, for the $9 tier, she installs a Facebook group. Now this is extra access, access to something that you would other, otherwise not have access to. And so, so this is very attractive. Plus also again with a VA, if you, if you would outsource this to a virtual assistant, this will not take you any time. This Facebook group will not take you any time. And so that's very, that's very powerful. And it clearly works 1,718 patrons for a total budget, of a total uh, revenue stream of a little under $8,000 now. If you are an actual artist, you have an official business, it's no problem. If you're a beginning artist, you have to take a 50% tax into account. And so, uh, so it's going to be your, whatever you expect will be less if you don't have an actual business where you can do taxes and all of that stuff. The next one is Willy Becker. Now this is already one that doesn't use or doesn't use only a large social media following, but uses other sources to drive traffic towards Patreon as well. And what he did was develop a Kickstarter campaign around decks, a playing deck, like a playing card, like 52 cards, that type of stuff. And, and so that is creating a revenue stream on Patreon on top of an already existing revenue stream, namely Kickstarter, where people are paying for those playing cards, which is cool. I mean, I mean, this is extra access to the, the, the process that he used in creating that deck. So this is a very smart way of, of, of doing Kickstarter campaign with, with adding revenue streams on top. Very, very smart. Steal this business model if you are thinking about doing commercial products like a Kickstarter, stuff like that. We're not going to go over all the tiers because that's not really that interesting in this one. Now, speaking of playing cards, if you think there are 52 playing cards in a deck, you definitely have to like this video because I think so too. And great minds. 
think alike. So let's go to the next one. So Amanda Palmer is actually a musician, but the reason I want to show her as well is because she, in a very smart way, and this will explain how this whole uh, Patreon thing actually works, in a very smart way, she offers art as well. So here you have art in the mail. These are art prints, sometimes drawings, watercolor drawings, smaller works. Now what Amanda Palmer is offering is is going a little bit against that whole uh, leveraging your time thing and that's she's now offering small drawings, small watercolors, art prints, stuff like that. Now the reason why I'm covering this is because it's so powerful since the people that are backing you up on Patreon, that are supporting you there are your thousand true fans. They are die hard hardcore fans and oftentimes they are there more for the artist than for the art and so if you're a musician like Amanda Palmer you can get away with perks like drawing even though you don't have any visual drawing talents necessarily and so she also doesn't specify the whole what, what you will get specifically so if, if, if for 70 euro you would get potentially one original drawing a year then she is making 800 euro on a drawing that she could probably make 50 of a day or 50 of in one day and so that's actually pretty decent income right there for somebody who is not a visual artist at all and could potentially be outsourced to a visual artist as well i don't really know what she's doing how sincere uh, she is but real opportunities for sure perhaps only for famous musicians but still so let's go to the next one Dina rodriguez is not a traditional artist in the contemporary art sense in any way she's doing stickers here she's actually print on demand or she's making like a whole apparel stuff and stuff like that but so the main reason that i want to cover her is because of two business insights that you have to be aware of to make your art patreon a success now number one is very simple she is choosing for objects like here for example the sticker pack tree sticker pack or the enamel pin is basically the same thing she is choosing for objects that are very cheap to make and very easy to ship as well so an enamel pin is super small stickers is super small and so these are ridiculously easy to ship now the printing cost of these stickers is very very low printing cost for three stickers is going to be less than one euro and then the uh, shipping will be less on average let's say two euro and so she is taking a profit margin there of 75 percent same for the enamel pins that's 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 a large profit margin that's a large profit mar profit margin and again if there are more people coming on your patreon buying for this it's going to be the same amount of time to ship this because it's all uh, to to create this and, and and give these perks because it's all print on demand it's very very scalable the other reason that i wanted to cover her is because of her target demographic which is very very powerful it's not really that clear on her um on her on her Patreon, but you can check her out on social media. The, the target demographic that she has is the LGBTQ community and the women of a size plus. I don't know if that's correct, like women size plus, but the women who have an extra size, you know? Like these communities are one of the more supportive, if not the most supportive communities in the world right now at this moment. These communities want to support one another and they want to bring the voice of the LGBTQ thing out there in the world and so so this is one of the most lucrative target audience that, that you can have when you're doing print on the method that's why this is working so well as well now the next artist is jason morgan and he shows us one of the most powerful sales tricks that you can use on patreon to increase your sales now if you came this far in this video, it means that you kind of are interested in this type of content, making money from your art as an artist. And so perhaps you should consider subscribing. Let's go to Jason Morgan. So Jason Morgan has some tiers here, some educational stuff. It's very similar as what we saw in the beginning of this video. So I'm not going to cover those. There are some interesting stuff here. But the one that is so powerful that I want to talk about is this one over here. He is offering a one-on-one. -on -one art review critique type of stuff with uh, his patrons and he is offering that for 25 dollars now 25 dollars is insanely cheap this is this is i mean you get a haircut for 25 dollars i mean this is super cheap now what will happen here considering the pseudo fame this artist already has and considering that he probably only makes three of those available <laughs> is that this will be sold out in no time and so 
it will be more desirable than it even was initially because now it's sold out and you cannot get it anymore. Anybody who ever fell in love in their life will know that people want stuff they cannot get. And this desirability will also go over to the other tiers. Now the other tiers that are not sold out are more desirable because of this. And this is sales. And if you need help with sales or anything else or business related, just hit me up on Instagram private message and I will definitely help you. Now there's one more thing that I want you to do. And that is to save this video for when you are going to create your own Patreon so that you don't forget any of these tactics when it's actually necessary and you're creating your own page. And besides that, I'm Tris Ketels, I'm an artist myself. And so if you like this type of business or business related stuff, then perhaps consider subscribing so that we can see each other again sometime soon. Ciao, ciao.